You see, prayer is the it's is the thing that gives you the power to overcome the mind. If you sit down, you see you're sick, you sit down and say, Yes, poor me, I am sick. Pity me. What will happen? You become more weak. Because you're weakening yourself. You're not in your strength, you're not in your power. When you're not in, your, your, in that power, you will never get healed. But when you pull out yourself and really say, yes, I want to go beyond that, you drag that power in from deep within, you know, that complete trust in God within yourself. Because what happened is, anything that happened in the outside is to make you stronger, not to weaken you. But if you weaken yourself, nobody can help you. It's like, it is said, if somebody is running behind you with a dagger, you can come in between the person. And you can hold the hand of that person and stop you know, that person of daggering you. But imagine you yourself taking a dagger and put it inside of you. Can you do something for that person? You can't do anything. And this is how it is. Very often people go into their weaknesses you know, and say, yes, I am weak. And people are happy about that because you get attention, you get to be care, uh, look after, you know, you get to get pampered, all this, you know. People like to do that, you know, and they have many excuses. But in reality, in place of making oneself stronger, one is making oneself more weak. And in weakness, you are going to lose yourself, nobody else. That's why when you analyze certain illnesses, of course, pr like I said, pray. It's very important to pray because this releases your mind from that mental tragedy which you have made for yourself and divert it towards something higher. And this is the aim of prayer. So you should allow the, you know, that uh, divine energy which is deep inside of you also to manifest. You have to allow it to take over and give you that strength to go beyond that. So this, that, this is also related with the mind, you know? How is the mental state? If you sit down and sit and cry, I said, yeah, it's finished. Of course life will be finished for you. But yet, you can carry on and say, no, I want to change. And only when you have that power, but you say, yes, I want to change and I want to move forward. God have not sent you here just to finish something, to sit and cry and pity yourself, you know. Say, no, God, you have put me here for a reason. And if you have put me here for a reason, I want to achieve the top of it. In Brazil, I was telling... Uh, I was, no, I think I also tweeted it, uh, this, uh, I can't remember her name. What was her name now, this lady? Yes, for sure you didn't understand anything, this was in Hindi. Yes, so you saw it, no? It's very beautiful. And her story is very inspiring, you know. Even losing her leg, she didn't just sit there and say, yes, I will not uh, do anything. No, her aim was to achieve climbing the Mount Everest. And she did it. Even when everybody was saying, you are crazy, you, are, you can't achieve that. I said, no, God has put me here for a reason and has kept me alive for a reason. I will achieve that and prove. And she did it. So like that also, they say, if you have your aim, you know, the highest aim, you know, and you're clear about your aim, nothing can stop you. But if you are not clear about your aim, you will find hundreds of excuses to stop yourself. Nobody is stopping you. You, 
you, you are stopping yourself. You are yourself putting your own barrier towards your spiritual growth, towards your growth, to, uh, towards realization. And God will not reveal if you are lazy. You can say, yes, yes, I am sitting there, I love God, I love God. No, God will not reveal himself. Only when he sees that enthusiasm inside of you, when he sees his passion inside of you. If you don't have passion in loving him, forget about it. You know, Loving God is not just like that. It's not just uh, say as if you're loving somebody. No, in loving God, you must have the passion to love him. To serve him. This is one thing that is lacking in many people, especially spiritual people, you know. The passion of serving God, the passion of loving him. So developing that passion and developing that uh, passion in loving and serving him, he can't refuse. You know, he can't uh, he himself will run to you. And this is the illness of the mind, you know. What stops somebody most of the time, you know, is that the illness of the mind is the most powerful. Because you program yourself, you know, you make yourself weak. And you stop yourself. And you will give yourself hundreds of uh, thousands of excuses. So this is the biggest sickness. The illnesses outside is a reminder to go beyond the mind. Change the way you see life. Change the way you see yourself. Once you do that, you will see that you will be more happy and more powerful. And if you set a higher goal of life, and no matter what you want to achieve that, you will 